It's November 10th, 2010. You're scrolling through YouTube late at night when you come across a video with the title Very Strange House in Minecraft that I did not build. The video has just come out and is uploaded by a user named Deadskin Mask. You're curious as to what he means so you click play. You watch as he showcases a house he has discovered in his world that he claims to not have built or to have ever seen before. I have a little bit of a weird video here right now. I don't know where I am, but the first thing I noticed whenever I popped out was this cliff over here in between the trees. In the distance right where my cursor is, there's like a like a little uh, walkway made out of um, dirt, and there's torches on it. And I have never been over here. I've only been on one place on my island. To understand how this mystery remained unsolved for almost a decade, it's important to first understand the context behind it. Minecraft has a surprisingly long history with horror aspects being in the game. The old versions of Minecraft have a way of sparking the imagination into thinking up strange and uncanny things. This has resulted in the creation of many horror or creepypasta myths about the game being made throughout its lifetime, with the height of these being in the game's early years. The most famous of these myths, of course, is Herobrine. Herobrine's first sighting dates back to August 31st, 2010, only four months before Deadskin Mask uploads his video. The original Herobrine 4chan post is now synonymous with the idea of horror in Minecraft. Detailing a mysterious entity that would stalk the player, create pyramids and 2x2 two two tunnels, Herobrine personified for many players a feeling they got from playing the old versions, a feeling that someone lurking just out of sight was watching them. The post's writer also said they had attempted to write about this entity on the Minecraft forum, but that their posts had been repeatedly deleted until a user with the name Herobrine told them to simply stop. This would come to popularise the idea that Minecraft, particularly the old versions, were in some way cursed. The lore of Herobrine expanded on this by claiming Herobrine to supposedly be Notch's dead brother, whose soul was trapped in the game. In reality, of course, Notch does not have a brother. The idea of an element of horror within Minecraft began to become more popular, and people began to expand its most popular myths and create new ones. This reuse of ideas meant that some myths were left behind in favour of expanding others, predating Herobrine as the myth of the White Eyes, originating in July of 2010. The myths feature an entity that would appear after the player played Disc 13, or any of the other cave sounds that would play in the game. Then two white eyes would appear, and watch the player from the corner of the screen. Sound familiar? Minecraft horror would continue to evolve with the creation of horror maps which integrated elements of the pre-existing Minecraft horror lore, as well as direct influences from other horror media. Fast forward to the present day, and even in the modern Minecraft climate, elements of horror have persisted despite the game going in a direction of a more light and friendly atmosphere. The Warden contains elements of horror, although I don't think it is able to capture any of the same elements that made Minecraft originally so unsettling. To me, The Warden is more just a moment of tension in an otherwise peaceful game. The horror elements have been watered down, and whilst at times you might feel a sense of loneliness in the modern game, it does not reach the same levels as the old versions. Newer mods like From the Fog and Cave Dweller have tried to bring back the more explicit feelings of horror by adding new horror style creatures to the game and including jump scares. These mods have become extremely popular, however this is where I think there is a divide and fundamental difference between the modern Minecraft horror and the old horror of the game. This difference is important for understanding the nature of the Very Strange House video and its mystery. The video is rooted in the time of its upload and the other versions of Minecraft horror surrounding it at the time. Simply, it could not exist at any other time of the game, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Minecraft's original world generation was empty. It's empty to the point where the world is almost dead. There's only one structure in old Minecraft, the dungeon. Compare that to the newer versions of the game, which are full of structures. Villages, ancient cities, desert and jungle temples, pyramids, ocean monuments, igloos, wooden mansions, mine shafts, nether fortresses, and strongholds, plus the new trial chamber. Now granted, some of these structures are also dead or abandoned, however the inclusion of them changes the original feel of the game present in the earlier versions. This is because their presence still removes the emptiness of the game, along with making the player less significant in the world. These structures imply a life outside of the player, who then becomes insignificant. 
In old versions of Minecraft, it could be said that the player is tasked with reviving the world they find themselves in, as they are the only thing that is able to create change. This immediately creates more opportunities for a horror element to take hold of the imagination, as there is a harsh silence that accompanies large parts of gameplay time. This, along with the player supposedly being completely alone in the world, creates an unsettling feeling, from which a question can emerge. What if you are not alone? And I actually found a house up here that is furnished like I had been using it. I've never been over here before. To add to this, the overall look of the game was also much rougher and less refined than the new modern textures. The old versions also lack a key feature, sprinting. If you thought that something was following you or watching you, there was no escape other than a slow walk, giving plenty of time for whatever was lurking in the darkness to catch you. The indie look and feel, as Minecraft was an indie game after all, adds to the horror appeal since low budget and horror often go hand in hand. Looking at the old worlds of Minecraft has been equated to looking at images of liminal spaces, commonly a place of transition and somewhere we are not meant to be for any long periods of time. These are in-between places, not meant to be looked at or paid much attention to, Therefore, when we do, it creates a strange feeling, and, intentionally or not, the worlds of old Minecraft can sometimes morph into these places. This sense of liminality is greatly enhanced by the fog that is ever-present in these old versions. The fog is inescapable, everywhere you go it's there, covering the world in a layer of mystery. Not even torches have much effect. The fog has become synonymous with the old versions of the game. Comparing screenshots is easy to tell just from the fog, which are from the new version of the game and which are from the old. Whilst the fog can be almost removed by having the higher render distance, the old versions were around a time when computers were nowhere near the level they're at now. Graphics cards and CPU cores are now leagues better than their counterparts in 2010. Whilst the feelings of horror, mystery and liminality were all there in the original days of these versions, otherwise things like Herobrine and the Mysterious House video would not have become so popular, the sense of nostalgia now generated by these old versions has only served to enhance these feelings. The explosion in popularity of liminal spaces was not just because it made people focus on places they had never paid much attention to before, but because of the nostalgia that was linked to many of the most popular liminal space images. This has led to liminal spaces being heavily linked to the idea of nostalgia, and places seen in childhood that now live on the edge of conscious and unconscious thought. The old versions of Minecraft fit this perfectly, as they remind many of a time when they were younger and life was simpler. This combination of horror and nostalgia has again been capitalised on in the form of analogue horror, which has extended itself into Minecraft. Videos of old Minecraft footage featuring nostalgic music in places, coupled with a VHS filter, have become popular recently, and a lot of these also have a horror element to them. Ignoring the fact that by 2010 VHS was long gone, these videos are nostalgic for a time in Minecraft's history when many could believe in strange occurrences happening in the game. Whilst the internet wasn't exactly new by the time Minecraft was, instead they often chose to believe what they heard or saw. Today Herobrine might just be a joke, but at the time lots of people genuinely believed he was in the game. So now we come back to Dead Skin Mask's video, very strange house in Minecraft that I did not build. It's taken a while for me to get to the mystery because, as you've probably figured out by now, I find the context surrounding the video and its place within the history of Minecraft horror to be just as interesting as the mystery itself. When the video first came out, the most common answer, due to the time of the video's release, as to who built the house was that it was Herobrine. This would then later develop into the common belief that the video was faked, as people began to realise that Herobrine wasn't real. Now the video being faked wouldn't be surprising considering the amount of fake Minecraft horror videos, however today it now seems more likely that the video is in fact real. You might have noticed the glitch chunk borders in the video. The house is built inside these glitch chunks and these pieces of evidence prove to be the most important in solving this mystery. Being a work in progress, Alpha is notoriously buggy from generating holes in the bedrock to leaves not decaying in some versions. Another bug that was present during the version that this video was recorded on, Alpha 1.2.0 underscore 02, was a bug that involved duplicating chunks from previously deleted worlds and servers that you had joined. This glitch has become the most popular explanation as to where the house came from and why Dead Skin Mask has never seen it before. 
because it was from a server he had joined. Minecraft is a game with an unlikely history of horror, and the old versions especially have an interesting relationship with it for what most consider to be nothing more than a kid's game. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one, goodbye.